So hey everybody, welcome back to Catchy Eat Chaos. So my humble bold, I'm your hostess. I went to my hostess. That's Mary. Welcome back to you returning subscribers. And welcome to your new viewers. I hope y'all like the video. If so, give me a one or two thumbs up if you can. Please share so I could go across the YouTube community. And subscribe if you haven't done so. Please press that notification bell you see Bing! so you'll be notified each time i upload another catchy tale videos where people could come over here and see some of my artwork i'm a mixed media art artist they can hear some of the sweet melodies that i play to our creator with the, on the instruments he blessed me with i'll take my trusty camera across the chicago land area so where y'all can see some of the uh, highways and byways, what's going on down those places along Magnificent Mile, Wacker Drive, State Street, Michigan Avenue, New in downtown Chicago. Y'all see the bean and stuff like that, a.k.a. it's just some type of sculpture they call the bean. But anyway, uh, the cloud, the cloud gate, and they, but they call it the bean. <laughs> the Chicago Cultural Center, I'll take y'all on Illinois Free Days and uh, to the local museums and to where y'all can see uh, like the Shed Aquarium, Chicago Field Museum, the uh, Adler Planetarium, I might take y'all to, you know the solar eclipse coming up y'all, mm -hmm. April 8th I think that is, 8th or the 9th uh, 2024, the solar eclipse. Uh, the last solar eclipse I saw at the Adler Planetarium I was outside. And I had them special glasses you got to look at. And I was on WTTW. They interviewed me. They say what I think about the solar eclipse. Because we was watching it on the grassy knoll outside. <laughs> that was in 2017, I think. If I could link it, then I'm sick and I link it. I don't know if YouTube allowed me to link that. But anyway, uh, so I take uh, what I call solo trip adventures and go to and fro when I feel like if because for those of y'all who don't know, I'm a sufferer of the debilitating condition called fibromyalgia. And so I, I suffer daily from daily chronic fatigue. And so um, I don't like, the, I, I don't uh, link anything that I purchased online uh, in the, uh, uh, individually in the descriptions below because I don't have the stamina and the energy. Like now, I'm, I'm like extremely fatigued, really don't want to do the video. But I want to use this as, I use this as I'm trying to help uh, supplement the household income. So I'm using this as a, a social media platform to try to get monetized. But I need the friends and the subscribers and the likes and stuff like that. And uh, me being sick all the time and bedridden. Uh, I don't put up my videos in a timely fashion. Although, when I feel like I, I will do the videos and post them on YouTube, so when I'm ready, I can just make it public. Like, I got a couple of, of them up there now, but they're private. And so that helps me regulate my time and stuff when I'm out of bed and I feel a little more energized. But my forte is thrifting, y'all, and I want to get back to it. Today, I bring y'all a... Um, a Shein haul. So I'm a Shein holic, a Chimu holic, and a Thrifer holic. But uh, Shein, boy, it's just too difficult dealing, trying to deal with a live person when you have conflict about your purchase if it becomes defective or something. It's a, it's hard getting through to them and to get it resolved, and um, and they want you to pay after the first time. Uh, returning something, they want you to pay the shipping for something that you received effective and stuff. I'm like, later for y'all, uh, Shein. So I got a lot of back orders from Shein. And so I said, um, today I'm gonna bring y'all, uh, like two. I'm gonna try to do these two at a time because when you bad written, boy, I'm telling you, you can get broke. And I'm a, a hoarder, too, by the way, a uh, professed hoarder, but an organizer. And so, uh, I'm telling you on the bed doing all this shopping the depression got me feeling down and low and lonely and all this old stuff and the next thing you know psh, shopping make me happy and affordable shopping at that and uh some people call me cheap and i say i'm frugal but yeah i can't be cheap but anyway be that as it may 
I digress. So, um, I'm going to uh, show y'all these shearing orders. I'm going to start showing y'all because I got a lot of backload from last year. And I deleted my sin account already. So, I'm not going to be bringing y'all the, uh, the sin uh, prices because I deleted the account uh, last year. I got frustrated and went back to it. And then I just finally deleted it because I think I did one more purchase earlier in this year. But now it's deleted and I don't have prices for the stuff that I'm going to be showing y'all. I just need to get them out there whenever I can. So y'all bear with me and, uh, you know, and enjoy the video, you know, because it might be something you still like, although I don't have prices. Then they're not linked for you to easy, have easy access to go to the uh, site. But anyway, I thank y'all for your patience, your understanding. I hope y'all have a great every day. And this might be a lengthy one. I don't know. And even it is. Get y'all something to eat or drink. Today I have my trusty Victor's Ice Latte in the vanilla flavor. This is the good goods next to the H2O Latte Coffee. My favorite is Mocha, though. I get this from the Dollar Tree. One moment, please. I'm going to go over here and take me a step. I'll be right back. Thank y'all. Here's to you. How's it? I appreciate y'all pace. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing okay. And if not, stay encouraged, y'all. And and believe and trust that this too shall pass. And if you haven't done so, turn to our creator and his son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because that's who my help comes from every time I'm down and out. Because I believe the biblical account. And that we have a creator and he sent his son to save us and help us out down here on planet earth. And so as well as give us eternal life. And so I believe all of this. And so I encourage y'all to have faith. And keep the faith if you got the faith. And know that this too shall pass, be it good or bad. Let's get it on y'all. As usual, I'm running my mouth digressing. Okay, so here's the... Two small bags I'm gonna be showing y'all with stuff in it. Okay, so I got some clothing items. Let me get this out the way right quick, y'all. That way I can get the little bitty tedious items out of my way. Okay, so we have this bag from Shein. What is it? It is a skirt. It's in a, a 3XL. It's saying on here. So that's, but I don't have no price for it. Deleted the Shein account, and I want to go spend time <clears throat> um, trying to write prices down. The fatigue is overwhelming me, y'all. It's real. And I keep everything real over here. And so this is by the brand called Shein Sexy, Curvy Sexy Confidence, they said. That's that, that collection. And this is made of polyester and elastin. So it's this pretty ombre skirt. Look. It's a pretty ombre skirt with, look at, look how the bottom looks. It got some fringing to that. Look at that. You know, it got the material fringe. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah. So it's white, gray, and black. So it's black, then you see the ombre gray, and then it becomes, really it's cream, it's not white. And here's the back, it got a small split. Very pretty, very pretty. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Let's stop standing up and show it better, cause I don't know. I have a, a eyesight problem too, y'all. Yeah, so sometimes I'm, although I'm looking at my phone screen, I can't still judge properly if y'all seeing stuff properly. But anyway, here it is. Very pretty, isn't it, y'all? Look at this beautiful stroke. Mm hmm. And so there it is. Nicely elastic waistline. Woo! Beautiful. And I can't get over this. So I can't even know. But, um, yeah, if you want to see it, you got to look on C and to see. But look at that. Look at the detail. It's like all furry. It, it seems like feathers. It feels like 
feathers and get impressions of feathers. Let me see how that is. Ooh, nice skirt. I think it's bodycon too, y'all. Yeah. I think it's gonna be bodycon, but I like to wear tops over my skirts anyway. Or blazers. I'm gonna probably rock it with a blazer and a nice top. Uh, a nice crop top of some kind. Not too crop to wear someone. No flesh on me. But a nice uh, cami top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the second one is, because I think I only got, how many? I only got these two right here. So here's this da, 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 skirt. 1XL. 1XL right there. 1XL. So this, and I'm, 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 I'm thinking that that skirt wasn't over $10, and nor was this skirt. Wasn't over $10, I know that. So it could have been like between six and eight or under. It was not ten dollars. So look at this. It's looking like real red on the screen. Same like, but in real life it's dark red. Mhm. Mm it's almost like a, a ruby red or a pomegranate red. We'll see. It's not that color you're seeing. It's a darker red. But isn't it pretty? Yes. So it got the polka dots with the stripes. And it got a little slit in the back. Body con skirt. So this is uh, 1XL, like I said. The composition material polyester, the last thing again. Nice, the last thing. Waist. Do, 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 do. Gonna fit real nice, and I really uh, only because I'm fatigued is why I really don't show like uh, what they deem styling. Give y'all styling videos. I don't have the stamina for that, y'all. Mm -mm. Like now, I'm rearing to go to bed, not to go to sleep though, because I lack. The ability to get the deep rejuvenating sleep. I'm easy to wake up. And so that's what caused the chronic fatigue. The lack of the sleep. And it overwhelms me. Oof. It, it feels as though I've been working an over 40 hour work shift. That's how I feel. But anyway, I'm not complaining, y'all. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I'm tired and don't want to do a thrifting video so what i'm doing now is just taking stuff off the bag to the side so we can move on with this y'all i'm gonna bring y'all up but no i'll keep y'all back there because i don't want the view to obstruct how i had it i don't come up Ugh. all right so this is it just say made in china on the back i don't even tell you the description of it but these are clip-on earrings. So I'm a person that wear clip earrings. See? So I had got these from Timu. Aren't they pretty? I got these from Timu. Recent. Because I said I'm going to stop purchasing from Timu too. But then sometimes they draw you in with them free games. Farmland, Fishland. And then you scroll and trying to get credits. And stuff like that by doing certain things on their site they'll get you but anyway uh that's that and so see i wear the clip on so i'll either wear the these type of clip ones or just the regular clips y'all see in a minute but anyway like i said i hope everybody doing okay so today is monday march the 25th 2024 and it's supposed to be in um lower 60s today then it's gonna drop back down being cold in the 50s and 40s might get to the 30s Whew. 
Yeah, all the news reports saying all around the world the weather conditions are fluctuating to record high and low temperatures and uh, uh, earthquakes and stuff like that and volcanic, volcanic eruptions occurring and people getting snow where they never have snow and stuff like that. The locust list and stuff. And now they're talking about the cicadas in Illinois. We need to get ready for them because they said they're coming out in billions. Woo! They said they live underground and about to come out from their underground incubation when they was incubating <laughs> during the winter time. But anyway, so these are these. Aren't they pretty, y'all? Look at these pretty earrings. I can't show an earring right, y'all. Well, let me just try to show it like that. Isn't that a pretty earring? Look, it got the flower, and then it got the fall pearls with the acrylic, and it moves on the inside. See, the acrylic, it's lime green with the fall pearls, and this acrylic flower. And then there's the back clip on. Mm-hmm. So these these weren't much, and I like the way the back look. Look how that is. Go back. Pretty, pretty dangle earring, clip on earring. Trying to show y'all good enough, man. I'm just not doing this properly, but I I thank y'all for y'all patience. But anyway, be that as it may, here it is. Here they are. Okay, so these, the earrings, if they not some scent, they not much over, I say, okay, I'll estimate, none of these earrings and jewelry gonna be over a uh, dollar and fifty cent. So that's what I estimate, because I always make sure that I get the lowest, and I uh, stalk. Uh, the websites when I was on Shein, I was stalking them like I do Timu and wait for the prices to go down because it got different vendors on uh, Shein too. And so I always, I'm on there daily, back and forth, for night and day, night and day, you know. And uh, when I have free time, because I do other stuff, because remember, I'm an artist and I go out and I play the keyboard and other instruments. I play the electrical guitar, uh, teaching myself. I don't actually know how to play it yet. Uh, and acoustic, and my husband bought me a white violin, and I post a video on the cards of that, where I talk about that, if I can and remember to do so, but anyway, so the next item will be, and they ain't telling me the name, no name on it, but anyway, look at these. So these clip-on earrings, but look at them. They the tassel. Oh, look how pretty. And look at these. I forgot the name of these uh them them type of stones. I forgot what them stones called. Cause I had sold some. Oh, I'm a posh I'm a reseller on the Poshmark app. At Lady Vintage Shop and Purse Attic Shop. So uh, uh make me a bundle. A offer, make me, excuse me, make me an offer bundle and save if y'all go over there. The links to both of my Poshmark classes will be in the description below, okay, y'all? Will y'all see more at in the description? Click on that. It's going to drop down, and y'all going to see the links to my Poshmark classes. Mm -hmm. So, I forgot the name of this type of stone. And you see it got some gold overlay on it. I don't know if I'm showing this properly, y'all. And I got the nerve to put on some Timu nails, and I bought some Timu, uh, them little things. I forgot the name of those, too. Did you just put them on over there, the applicator? See, the nails were not like that. I just put them on there. Mm -hmm. I finally put them on. <laughs> some nails. I said, I'm going to do a video. I got a whole bag full. Oh, I got a gigantic bag like this. About like this or bigger. Of nails from Timu and Shein. Why? I don't hardly wear them because I wear my real nails, which are nice length. I wear, um, I like white and silver nail polish. 
So that's what I'm usually in. But you know, the eyesight, the eyes are never satisfied. The wise as the eyes are never satisfied. Just like the wisest man on planet Earth said, King Solomon of the tribe of Judah and Israel. Of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. King Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, said that I never satisfied in his proverb. <laughs> yeah, but it got to go over there. I don't know. I'm spending too much time on this. It's real pretty, and I forgot the name of what you call this. So look at the tassel. Mm. Aren't they pretty? So them them. Yeah. So, sorry about that, y'all. I didn't feel like trying to go, to, you know, reopen the uh, she in sight. And before I decided to uh, delete my account from Shein, I didn't want to uh, uh, write the uh, price information down because I'm feeling like. Now look at this, y'all. So I bought two of these. I bought two of these because they uh, they they not the same uh, color. I forgot what you call this. Uh, abstract H symmetrical. I forgot when when one is different than the other. But these also are clip-on earrings. It just say that on the back. I don't know what they saying. Look, Timu notified me just now. Says something because I got the the setting on. Because I got one more order from uh coming from uh, Timu, and then I'm done with Timu. I'm gonna get rid of them too because uh. I'm spending my money too much on them, and y'all ever get to the point to where y'all just, like, became bored and tired of selling, I mean, not selling, excuse me, buying stuff at certain places, and, you know, uh, the thrill gone. Once you get this stuff, and then you're all excited, and you anticipate while you're waiting, but then when you get it, the thrill gone. Like, after you make you go through them and make sure they all, you know, not defective and everything okay. And then the thrill instantly gone. And my husband said, why you steady buying stuff you ain't wearing yet? It ain't summertime and stuff like this. And you steady just buying stuff and just putting it into the storage area. I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, that's the hoarder in me. <laughs> but as I stated before, I'm an organized one of them. Order nonetheless, y'all. Pitiful situation. But anyway, uh, so these, what you call this one? When well, one is like this and one not. Well, anyway, because it was like this, I said, so when I want to wear them like this, I can. But then I bought another one, so when I want to wear them the same color, I can. Yeah, so this is how the, uh, they clip ones and this how the back look. But it's not a pretty. It's like heavy metal. I think it's alloy metal. Mm -hmm. And they got the back of the clip in the bag. See the black. Right. That'll help uh, soothe that pinch from when you wear a clip on earring. Uh, like I said before, I hope y'all doing well, and if not, it'll pass. Hold on for a minute, y'all. I'm thirsty again. I'm so fatigued, and I got to make sure that I don't get dehydrated. One moment, please. Let me go back over here. Woo, y'all, I was gulping that down. Like I said, here's to you. Thank you for bearing with me, y'all. Okay, so... So these are, once again, ain't saying what they are. But they are earrings. But I thought it would say, like, you know, what type of earring it was. Or if it would say jewelry. But it don't, I don't know. Oh, I keep forgetting. Sorry about this, y'all. Some of y'all don't like that noise. You know, of opening bags. Sometimes it can't be helped, y'all. Because I, the element of surprise, I like that. And I like the... Sometimes the uh, fighting with the package. 
But not when I have on false nails because they can pop right on. As y'all know, I'm sure y'all know all too well. Check out these, y'all. So these are pretty. Look at these dangies. Danglies. Oh, my God. So they like gray. Ombre. Gray with cre a little cream in it. Or a light gray and dark gray. Pretty. Clip on everything. Yeah. Then they come in a nice, reusable bag that I like to use this because I'm starting to sell uh, jewelry in my Poshmark closet at Lady Vintage Shop and First Attic Shop. But the, the jewelry will be at Lady Vintage Shop. Description below. <laughs> Always from time to time, you know you got to do your marketing. Okay, what is this? Some more earrings. I went earring crazy at my last order on sin, you know. But like I said, I got a lot of back orders, y'all. They're waiting to be seen. Amaya, Adore, and bought for. And paid for. I'm also a poet and a writer. But I haven't done that in a while. I, I got a whole lot. I was supposed to have been doing a poetry book and never came to be because I put it to the side. But I, I, I was thinking about maybe I'll share some of my poetry with y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments. Would that be of interest to anybody? Okay, because I also put my poems to music too. And I'm trying to do uh, video animations of uh, characters to go along with my songs. And my poetry. Mm -hmm. I got one that I could post again. I had it up already. Uh, but I could repost it. It's about. Uh, it's called Cereal Jazz. Cereal. Like you eat cereal for breakfast. Cereal Jazz. <laughs> so anyway. I might repost that one. So y'all can see what I mean. I took it down in haste. Um. Uh, you know, um, or one time. So I'm going to put it back up. Yeah, aren't these pretty? Look at these. So these are white with the, you see how it looks right there? White with gold overlay. You know. Oh. Gold tone overlay. Look at them earrings. Mm -hmm. Clip on. Nice. Dang, let's see. That looks as y'all can see how it look on the ear. And I need to move it on because we have 27 minutes already. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Mm. Wow, nice. I might keep that one off for a minute because I forgot to show y'all the other one that I put it up. I wasn't thinking. Uh, that's another thing of five of my houses. I lose concentration a lot and become what they call discombobulated, confused, and then trying to regather my thoughts, I go off in the distance. And, uh, yeah, so I was meaning to show y'all each one once they pair of earrings. I mean, a clip on earrings, excuse me. So these are these. Look at the pretty color. Aren't they pretty? With the stone. The, uh, the sky blue stones, they got the stones and the rhinestones in here. And regular blue stones. Yeah, but they got rhinestones in there too. Just clip on. So let's see how this one looks. Yep, yep, yeah. I was supposed to go to the thrift store today, y'all. Mm hmm I was supposed to go and get something for Every, at the, everything half off so I ain't even feel like I said let me just do this video and do what else I can do around the house cause then I get back in the bed but anyway look at that guy see how pretty see how pretty that is yeah and you know it's hard for, for people who wear clip-ons it's hard for us to find clip-ons in the regular retail stores because um some of the young workers don't, didn't even know what I was talking about when I said, do y'all have clip-ons? And some of the ones who, like, in their 30s didn't know what I was talking about either. In their 30s. 
And, uh, who look, uh, maybe I'll retract what I said. Who look to me to be in their 30s or late 20s. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, clip on. I ain't talking about the cuff where you just cuff your ear with the things and put it in that cuffy. I'm talking about like the, you know, and I had someone who was trying to show them what I meant. They were like, no, looking at me like, like I said, some foreign. Uh, uh, a young worker, she looked like she in her early 20s, maybe, or mid 20s, at Ross, the Ross store, R O S S. She did me the same way. I was like, y'all got clip. No, it wasn't wrong. Excuse me. It was TJ Maxx. She did me the same way. It was like, no, I ain't never heard of that. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Anyway, that's neither here or there. I digress. Look at these pretty, like, Chinese. And it's a saying to this, this earring. And I don't know what it is, though. So these are the, uh, the type you got to twist. They the clip on, but you got to twist them in place. But look at that. So it's some type, it's a Chinese saying. I forgot the saying. I should have remembered the saying. Excuse me, y'all. One fail. I should have remembered the saying to these pretty earrings. I don't know. Some of my Chinese viewers might know Asian viewers. Because I think it's Chinese. I don't think it's Vietnamese or Korean. It could be Korean now. Wait a minute. Let me backtrack that. This could be Korean. But anyway, there they are. And this say something I forgot what it, they said it's supposed to say. And so it was a good saying is why I got it. Because I ain't getting nothing that's, to me sounding raunchy or uh, don't make sense to me. And so we go on with another pair of earrings. Remember these, like the blue. I just showed y'all the blue one. And so these right here are the pink and orange, like coral. This is more coral color. Peachy coral. Peachy and coral. That's that. So these are like the gray ones that I showed you. Are they giving me a name? It's just saying that. So, uh, these are like them gray ones. The uh, ombre gray ones that I have showed. Yeah, I, I have put my hand on ponytail, y'all. Actually, it's still two ponytails. I just, uh, you know, wrapped it around. But see, it's still two ponytails. <laughs> I'll just keep it out there. Yeah. Because I was like, let me put my scarf on. But anyway, and I took my braids down so I could get me some crinkle effect. <laughs> and so, these just like the, the gold ombres that I saw. So look at this. Ooh, look how pretty these are. Beige and tan. No, they like beige. Yeah, beige and tan, or just tan. I don't know. Y'all judge what color they are, cause it's looking like it's coming across the right color. They're not white. Beautiful. Let's try one of these on. Let's go. Let's how this one look. Very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. And then, uh, in my youth, somehow, and my mother, don't. She, she said she don't recall who pierced my ear. She said she don't remember if it was her or uh, one of my uh, aunts on my father's side, one of, the, one of uh, his sisters. She said she don't remember. But anyway, I used to have it, and then when I was like 13 or something, it got caught on something. And so this one has split. And ever since then, I'm a person never, you know, when I'm of age to decide what I want to do with my life, I never did want to pierce my body, just period, and put marks on it, tattoos and that. So I've been pierced ever since then. I mean, uh, torn and unpierced. So I wear a clip on. 
And this hole still work though. Because from time to time, I might just wear one earring, one pierced earring, and put it in there. So that hole still open after all this, this time. And I'm over 60. <laughs> and that happened when I was like 13 or something. But anyway. So here we go with this. What is this, y'all? Key. Chain. A pretty key chain. Is this saying? Nope. It ain't even saying it's a pretty key chain. But this is a pretty key cat chain came in this line. It's reusable bag. And so I like the keychain when it got this part on there. So you could hook, like the hook part. The lobster uh, claw or either this, these kind. I like them. And then it also has the round one too on it. But this right here, look at that. It got seashells, dry seashells and dry. What else in it? No, that, it's, it's, it's real seashells, but it got, uh, it looked like a plastic cutouts of stars. And then they got that fall leather tassel next to it. Is that fall leather? No, it feels like felt material. Felt, F-E-L-T. But look at that. They got a pretty, a pretty, uh, seashell. Yeah, so I like to dress up my bags and stuff. Like everybody else, you know, you're never too old for that. <laughs> and so here's some more nails. Like I said, why I keep getting nails when I like to wear white and silver nail polish? But I said, I need to just go and wear them or either resell them. And I said, I'm going to just do a separate video showing y'all all the nails that I bought from Timu and Shein. And so I just decided to put these on today and they white. And then I got them gold appliques of butterflies and flowers. Yeah. So that's the butterfly on the thumb. I don't know if y'all seeing that. And then the flower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, here's another pair of false nails. Do it yourself. They're pink and uh, white. Aren't they pretty? Very pretty. And I was thinking about doing it like I did my jewelry, uh, that Goodwill shop, Goodwill jewelry haul. I might show y'all under that and don't show me. And just show all the nails under the, so y'all could get a closer view of the designs on the false nails, the fake nails. Okay. So what are these, pray tell, are these earrings? Are these clip-on earrings? Let's see. I don't say no name, y'all. I don't say no name. But let me bag up. Because it's making too much noise for the viewers who get hurt by the sound. <laughs> Including me. If stuff too up close, you know, to the uh, microphone on your camera or phone. Look at these pretty glass. Glass beads. Earrings. Look at them. They glass beads. Clip on. But look at them. Glass beads. Look like star. Star flakes. You see that? Wow. Glass beads. I don't know if they all say that. Look at that. Sparkly, sparkly. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Told you I don't think none of these was over a dollar and fifty, y'all. Isn't that pretty? And mine are in the camera light. But look at that. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I like these. Ooh. You see, things like these. Simplicity. But luxurious. And looks expensive. And you wouldn't know. And if I told you the price, you wouldn't know. I'm a person that like cosmetic jewelry over real jewelry. Mm -hmm. That way, my heart ain't going to get broken if somebody rob me outside or a thief break in the house and steal it. It's like moving on to the next low and affordable 
author of the item. <laughs> and I want to enjoy what I buy, not but to sit around collecting dust somewhere. Because my husband getting on me and saying that's what I'm doing, though. I keep purchasing all these Timu and she and Waters and they sitting around because it ain't summertime yet and a lot of the stuff that I bought is for summer and spring. Okay. Oh, now look. These are like the uh, the gray ones and uh, the cream ones I just showed you but these like the ooh, pretty like gold and brown. Look at that. Oh, the pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see how this one. I hope I'm showing y'all on my air right in the uh, camera. And it ain't going too light. Because I notice when I get up close to the camera, it, it dims. It, 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 get, it gets lighter to where you really, it obstructs the view. And you can't really see the item. Uh oh, let me get a little closer. I don't know if y'all seeing that. But anyway, y'all probably see it. And I don't see how, you know, I'm doing stuff until it's time for the editing process because, like I said, my eyesight poor. So these are what they call micro lens. I spent a lot of money on micro lens because I wear bifocals uh -huh, without the micro lens. And some of the uh, people don't even know what micro lens are. This, some of the people in their 30s don't know what micro lens are. Mm -hmm. I went to a uh, eyeglass shop and said, uh, y'all have any uh, micro lens that y'all can show? What you mean? Micro lens and all that. But anyway, be that so my times have changed, y'all. And a lot of the people that's younger than me now who, you know, work at places, a lot of them don't know things that used to be around for one reason or another. I don't know why. So these are the clip-on backs to where I could make my, I could DIY, do it yourself, make my own clip-on earrings. So I got it in gold, and then I got one in silver too. So they look like this, let's take them off. Do I got a little time for this one? I better hurry up though because we have 42 minutes. Yeah. Like I said, I could go on and on because I'm alone a lot. My husband work a lot, of, and I got six kids, and they grown, and everybody don't live in the city. Mm -hmm. Some live out of state and out of the country altogether, out of America. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah. in distance, in distant lands that I will not mention. And so. Excuse me. So this right here, y'all. Oh, I ain't show y'all. I just put it back in there. I don't think I put it on my edge of there, y'all. Well, there you have it. That's what happens when I'm running my mouth. I become discombobulated. I like saying this to y'all. <laughs> As y'all probably could tell by my video. But anyway, this is a pretty keychain, y'all. Look at this. Once again, I like these. And it also came with that one. So if you don't have this, it's broke, you can still put it on your purse or wherever you're going to put it at with this. And if this is broke, you still got this. Vice versa. So this is a pretty heart charm. And look at the detail. The graphic detail. It's like hand painted. It looks like art. Keychain. And on the back, it looks like that. Just plain. Really pretty. Same like it's acrylic. Very pretty. Okay, I got to move it on, y'all, because I am running my mouth, and I'm stalling, you know, stopping in the midst of talking, and that's making the time ain't stopping, though. And some people don't like long videos, but I like my videos at least an hour long, and I like to watch long videos if, you know, if people that are showing interesting things, so I hope my stuff interesting to y'all. But, yeah, I, I, I like to get a lot of stuff out the way, too, because, like I said, I'm sick. So, I don't know when I'm going to get to my stuff that I purchased. Here's the silver. The silver back clip, clips. To create my own earrings. 
Yeah, because I could make my own earrings, too, and don't have to buy them. Here's some more uh, fake nails, y'all, press on nails. So these are like just plain old pink. Uh, yeah, these are short pink nails. It's pretty. Bye. I don't even know who they buy, y'all. Don't know. All this information on here, and I'll see where they from. But anyway, other than seeing. Okay, look at this, y'all. Isn't this pretty? So what is this pray tail? This is a a neck collar. A jewelry neck collar. You can replace this as a, I mean uh use this in place of a necklace. Mm -hmm. But actually actually it's a bow. It's not a collar. It's a uh brooch. You know, a pen. And so, uh, so I spoke too soon. It, it, it's not that my collars are uh, different than this. And I think I'll post it in the cards above where I got some collars. I think that's from Timu. So I'll post my Timu playlist list and y'all can go through it and see some of my collars with the jewels on it. That you could put on your shirts and sweaters and dresses instead of wearing jewelry. But this is a, 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 a bow tie brooch. But check out the detail, y'all. Gold and rhinestones. Ooh, look at the glitter. You see the glitter? Oh, boy, I tell you. And then it's velvet. feel like velvet on the other side. It's velvet up here, but not here. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at that. The things you can find at the thrift store, I always say, but look, the things you can find at Tien and Timu. And uh, I, I, I'm not an influencer. I just, uh, not directly. Because indirectly, everybody showing anything on here is our influence. Are you trying to influence people to either buy from you or buy somewhere else? But I'm not an influencer to be like, Trying to tell you how to wear something and you should get this and all this stuff and this don't look right and all this how other people say that stuff. I ain't that. I'm just here in the event to show y'all what you can get affordable and cheaply. And that you'll consider your own treasure and that you could have for years as long as you upkeep it. Uh-huh. Like this, for example. These are more earrings. Heavy metal alloy. Woo, clip on earrings. These are heavyweight, y'all. Heavyweight. It's the alloy. Look at these earrings. Look at that earring. Look at the design on that earring. Wow. You see the kind of gl glisten? It don't have glitter, but it's, 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 it's got a sparkle to it, like a sign. Look at that. And they clip on and look. Black clip. Ooh, we all wait. There's those. Let's try one of these on. I dropped something. I don't know what it was. But anyway, let's put these on. So I got a couple of these, like five of these. Let's hurry up and do them because the time wasting, y'all. But anyway, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Very pretty, very pretty, very pretty. I think one of the back of the, uh, the clip of my experience came off. So I got it in black, I got it in, I got it in yellow gold, and I got it in, uh, what you call it, other gold. See, I don't forget. Sometimes I'll be forgetting. There's two types of gold, and I forgot the other gold. So I don't know if it's the regular gold or the other gold. This looks like the regular, regular gold. So I was putting down the backs to them because they in the way. But look at these, y'all. Look at them. Very pretty. Oh, rose gold. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? These are the regular gold. Oh, clip on earrings. You see the same? Wow, look like real gold. They look like real gold, though. 
but I'm going to overlay all of this, uh, uh, the metal with clear nail polish. Alloy metal, A-L-L-O-Y, it helps, um, that metal don't tarnish quick. It still could tarnish if it get wet. But it don't tarnish as quick as the uh, the non-alloy metal. And so all my uh, jewelry from Tin and, and Simu, I wipe them down with the uh, clear nail polish. Uh -huh. To try to keep keep it from tarnishing. Because sometimes I forget to take my jewelry off when I'm uh, washing dishes and stuff like that. Or washing my hands when I use after I use, you know, the bath on them. But anyway, here's the silver ones, y'all. Oh, check them out. I gotta go. It's almost it's 50, 50 minutes now. Look at this silver. Oh, you see the sheen? Oh, look at the sheen. And they thick and heavy, y'all. Thick and heavy. Thick and heavy. Let's see how this is. Built and clip. Very pretty. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Real pretty. I like that. Put this back and put the the back strong back in the bag. And the thing is, it got fine cheap online. That'll get you broke. <laughs> and I'm like. I could get a lot of this from the thrift store. Some of this stuff, I'll be wasting money. I'm, I'm just keep everything real over here. I'll be wasting a lot of money because I buy a lot of unnecessary stuff. So uh, I think I got gold twice, cause unless that was rose gold, cause this is looking gold too. So maybe I got two of the same ones, or maybe the other ones were a little light pinkier. But anyway, look at that. This thing. Ooh, with the glisten. Look at the pretty colors. Oh, pretty. So I ain't going to put that on because the time is going, y'all. We have 52 minutes. So what else I got? Uh-oh, we're going down. Okay, this. This. Anything else in here? You know the last three items, y'all. Oh, last three items. So here's the white ones, y'all, of the same earrings. And as I said, none of these was a dollar over a dollar fifty. These could have been some cents, like ninety nine or ninety five cents or something. It could have been or a dollar seven, like that, or a dollar two or twelve. Look at these. These are the white ones. Aren't they pretty? Mm hmm. So that was the uh, the little ball in the back. Let's see how this look on the ear. The other ball came off. So I'll get them later. Okay, clip on. Don't you be breaking. Because it's hard to uh, deal with shin. You know, the shin company is hard dealing with them. I'll fix all this later. It's not broken, it's just stiff. But look at that earring. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying to stick it back. I can't see it. If I'm showing this properly. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, two more items. So I got the red pair of these. And then I got a bracelet, y'all. And we'll be done. That'll be a wrap. And, okay, so here's the red one. And it's going to go real nicely with this red. It's the same color as the skirt. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So these are red ones. And I want to open it to make sure that it's not, it's not uh, broken either. So. Let's see. So here they are, the red ones. Ooh, so pretty, y'all. So pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look how pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they thick and chunky. Oh, they so chunky, y'all. These things are chunky. But not heavy to the ear. 
But if they're not going to break soon, if they break, it's going to be off at that point that they'll break off. But the body of it, like this body and this part, mm -mm. that shouldn't be breaking no time soon. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So them the red ones on, and then the last item will be at 55 minutes. <clears throat> will be this bracelet. Let me put the little backings in here. That and the last thing will be just a little bracelet, y'all bracelet. It ain't saying what type of bracelet or nothing. But it's a pretty fall pearl. Uh, alloy, silver alloy metal. And look at the design on it, y'all. Check it out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the design. And then here's the S on the back. And then it got this type of clasp. Look at that. Fall pearl. With that thick silver alloy metal. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And so let's see how it look on the wrist, y'all. You know, and then it'll be a wrap. Let's see, can I get it on the wrist? Go, Mary. Go, Mary. You could do it. And she did. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in to Cassie Tales. If you like the video, give me one or two thumbs up. Please share so it will go across the YouTube community so other people could come over here and check out what's really happening here at Cassie Tales. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Press that notification button you see. Bing! So you will be notified each time I upload another Cassie Tales video. Until we meet again, if it is our Creator's will, be good to yourself. Don't forget to love thy neighbor as thyself. For y'all know love the way to go. Above all, let's love our Creator who wakes us up, gives us our very being, and takes care of us. Give us the power to get wealth and everything. Let's love Him with our whole heart, mind, body, soul, with all our strength. And keep His commandments. For they are holy, just, righteous, and true. Always benefiting me. And of course, you. Peace in the God pay love, y'all. Take care. Bye.